Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is add controller, pitch, yaw, and roll input. The add controller, pitch, yaw, and roll input nodes are what we use to tell our controller how we want to control our controller. It sounds really silly, but you got to keep in mind, generally with the Unreal Engine setup, you have a controller, which is basically taking the input in from your player who's playing the game and applies it to whatever it's controlling. And in this case, this adjusts the controller itself. So if you're using a first person controller, this might determine how you're looking around in first person view. If you're using a third person controller, this might determine how the camera rotates around the player. That's what the controller input is for. Now looking at the nodes themselves, we have three of them. One controls yaw, one controls pitch, one controls roll. If we look at our actual player itself, so let's grab let's grab something like this, for example. You have your X, Y, and Z, which is your rotation, which is going to be your roll, your pitch, and your yaw. You can always mouse over if you need to remember which one is which. What this does is it takes in a value. Now this is how much it should be adjusted, and it takes in a target, which is usually, which well not usually, it is a pawn object reference. These nodes are used on the pawn itself that you want to adjust the controller input on. There are separate nodes for the controller itself that we'll be covering in a separate video, but these add controller yaw input roll and pitch nodes are usually on your pawn that is being controlled by the controller and it passes this input over to the controller and then applies those values. So in this case, if we look here, we have some gamepad input. This basically takes the input from the gamepad controllers, the usually the right joystick and the left joystick for determining how it turns and how it looks and then adds it to the appropriate section, the yaw or the pitch, so the left and right and the up and down. You have a roll, which is generally not used, but if we were to hook this up, for example, if we were to look at our character here, I'm using my pitch and my yaw by doing this and this with my mouse. If I use my arrow keys, I'm actually adjusting the roll of my camera, which as you can see, isn't quite what we want. So keep in mind, most of the time you won't use the roll. It's used for specific things. You might want to use the roll if you're doing like a full 360 degree of freedom shooting game, something like the old Descent games. So keep that in mind. Now in terms of the values, this will take in any value you want. How much value is pumped in determines how much it will adjust your input. But it will also multiply it by the controller's multiplication values. What I mean by that is, if we go to our controller that we're feeding this input into, you will find under the player controller settings, under class defaults, the yaw scale, pitch scale, and roll scale. So this determines how much it's multiplied by. So for example, if I put in a one for my roll input, it's gonna multiply it by one and give me back one. And that's also where your yaw and your pitch comes in. So if you've ever wondered, for example, when you're going up and down, for example, looking up and down on the mouse and you your pitch input here, and you notice that it doesn't react accordingly. Maybe it's what you call an inverse mouse look. And then you've over been, oh, okay, well then I have to go into my input I have to go into my project settings, I have to go into my looking up and down, and you set your scale to actually negative, so you get what might be your preferred mouse look up and down, or your inversion for your mouse look. That's because by default, the controller comes with it inverted again by default. So you actually have two negatives multiplying against each other. So if you've ever wondered why you had to do that or why it didn't feel right, everyone's different. It's because by default, the pitch is multiplied by negative 1.75. So that's something to keep in mind. You could always just adjust this to a positive and then go in your project settings and put this to a positive and they basically cancel each other out. But that's it. Those are our add controller input nodes. This feeds from an input. So in this case, I have my mouse input here for my input axis is into these nodes. They target the pawn. They will ask the pawn which controller is connected to it, feed that into the controller, and then appropriately add the input as needed. So rolling it, 
pitching it or yawing it. So left, right, up, down, in and out, basically. And that's it. That's going to wrap up the add controller, yaw, pitch, and roll input nodes.